Today we have a 2003 Subaru Outback with the Macintosh system. We have no display and static. This is a common problem for this radio. We're going to show you how to take this out of the dash and uh, get started on getting this out and up to the uh, bench so we can take care of the radio. We're going to start with a pry bar and pry the back edge of this trim panel and pull it back from the dash. We're going to place the uh, key in the ignition so we can move the shifter back. This will also give us a a little bit more room with the uh, gear shift and this will allow us to pull this back. There are two little tabs at the front edges of this, one here on the right and one here on the left. They go in the small openings up here in the dash. This is going to allow you to remove, uh, removing this plate is going to allow you to remove two screws. If you have the uh, stick shift with a boot on it, you want to take this plastic plate and turn it sideways over the gear shift to get access to these two screws. This is going to help remove the bottom of the uh, panel here with these two screws. We have a third screw at the back of the ashtray assembly. We're going to remove the ashtray. It has a little gadget that's been added, but we're going to push the tab down, unlock it, and remove the ashtray. And there's one screw at the very back here. Let's see if we can get that in there. One Phillips screw way at the very back here. Uh, I can't get it in the picture here but it goes straight back. This is the one that holds the uh, bottom plate here in place along with the two front screws we moved earlier. We have a full library of removal guides on our website at carstereoremoval.com. With this remove, we should be able to remove the bottom plate assembly here. And that will allow us to lift this up out. Once we've removed the one screw at the back, we're going to use our 90 degree screwdriver, a small stubby, because there are also two right along the front edge of that ashtray uh, mounting uh, plate here for the ashtray assembly that it locks into. And uh, these two screws go straight up. You can see they're going to be somewhat difficult to get to. Again, a stubby would be good in this spot as well. Okay, there's one down in the dash that we'll get out here in a minute. And then there is a second here on the right. They're just in on the, uh, behind the front edge of the, uh, tray that secures the ashtray and these two screws go straight up. And the problem we are having here today is uh, the volume, nothing works, but we are getting static or white noise out of the speakers presently. Uh, the display we've seen have hieroglyphics in it, uh, have uh, many different uh, symptoms or problems with this radio. This is the Macintosh system like I mentioned earlier. Two screws removed. We're going to remove the uh, one that fell down here as well. And this is going to free up the uh, bottom of the panel and should allow us to pull or pry the entire panel forward from the dash. So we're going to grasp the bottom edge and pull out on it. It released all the way up around the edges here. Pull this panel back. We have uh, two connectors here. Uh, one for the cigarette lighter and the uh, lamp, which is a twist release. Um, <clears throat> these connectors, uh, one will fit back to the two tabs on the cigarette lighter, which is this one here, and then the uh, light bulb here goes in next to the cigarette lighter. It's a twist to fit. 
with this removed, this is going to give access to four mounting screws for the car stereo. Two on the left side of the car stereo. These are all Phillips screws. And two on the uh, right side of the car stereo. With these screws removed, this is going to allow us to pull the AC controls and the car stereo from the dash, along with the OnStar and so on. And we're going to pull this out of the dash. It's a little bit tight here. We have a looks like a an old phone module in here bolted to the top of the mechanism which has helped giving us a little trouble on getting the stereo out of the dash. There we go. There's the top. The bottom. The top. Okay. <clears throat> that looks like an old telephone module for the factory phone if you had that. Uh, this stereo is says Macintosh on it, but it is manufactured by Clarion. Now we're going to disassemble part of this to get uh, the stereo out of the dash to get access to the connectors on the back of the stereo. We're going to get a complete description of the service. Oh, we finally got something here. Okay. Now this can allow us to lift up the cover, remove the phone module that's pinched in here and this is going to give us a little bit more play hopefully to pull the car stereo forward from the dash okay now we have many mounting screws on the side of this car stereo uh, you can see the mounting bolts all go across to hold the OnStar module, to hold the AC controls, and four here that hold the stereo in place. I'm going to remove the uh, four screws for the stereo. Hopefully this will free up the right side of the car stereo, and we will repeat this for the left side of the car stereo as well. And hopefully we can push the stereo right out the front of the brackets as long as it's not a uh, attached to the uh, stereo, either top or bottom of the face here. have those four screws and that's going to allow us to let's see here turn the AC off pull the unit forward see if we can disconnect the connectors here in the back we have the one main antenna on the side this is a 90 degree antenna this is just a pulley antenna to release there's one we have the main connector to the radio here which has a trigger on the top of it that we're going to push down release that and remove that we also have a DIN cable going down here into the dash and comes up out of the back of the radio, goes down to the antenna. And we're going to pull this cable up. It's a black DIN cable here. You can see this here. And on one side of this cable, there is a little connector that you squeeze down to release the lock and release the connector. And this connector will release. We have one more connector way over on the other side, underneath the uh, DIN cable connector with a trigger on top. We're going to push down and remove this connector. Now we have all the connectors loose. This should pop right out of the front of the radio, or push back through the back. See which way we can go. Push right out the front. 
and it's removed from the bracket. We're going to feed the uh, DIN cable up so that that doesn't get caught. This is how you remove the stereo from a 2003 Subaru Outback. Hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe, see our website for other removals, and thank you for watching.